Hello everybody, Robin here. Welcome back to Toadstool Tarot. It is a gorgeous spring day today and I went out and had a wonderful time in the sun, in a bit of shade under the blossoms on the trees and took some cards with me and made some notes in my journal. And the question for the day as people often ask what tarot is or what tarot isn't, is, is tarot a game? So I'm going to be reading off of a little bit I wrote in my journal because I think I've worded it just exactly as I'd like and will be easier than explaining it to you um, off the cuff and maybe forgetting some things. So here we go. A spread for the question, is tarot a game? Is tarot a game? Before laying the spread, I might venture to answer, it can be. If it is, it's a game of you against your world. Notice that I said your world and not the world because you are a player that is challenged with real opportunities to affect the outcome. The goal is always to arrive at a positive outcome in your life by overcoming obstacles along the way. How many steps that takes indicates the degree of difficulty of your game. To start with, you pose your question. In this case, is tarot a game? I begin by focusing on the question and shuffling cards. The first card drawn is the Knight of Swords. Swords are the suit of knowledge and communication, and knights are action cards. So I have my answer. Tarot is a game of pursuing information. The second card I draw is the Knight of Cups. We already know that knights are action cards. It so happens that the suit of cups refers to emotions. This indicates that in pursuit of information, we will likely be engaging with our emotions or our emotions may impact our investigation. The third card is the Queen of Swords. The Queens are purveyors of consideration and compassion. So having gathered our information, we are called to sit with that information and consider it thoughtfully and compassionately. In a three card spread, we would have our answer by now and the game would be complete. If one doesn't sense, uh, if one doesn't feel a sense of resolution, one can continue the game by drawing additional cards to seek instruction or elaboration. I pull a fourth card and I get the lovers, a happy card, and in this context, a pairing, a marriage, or a partnership between your thoughts and feelings in your search for answers, and a willingness to take part in your quest, knowing what will be involved, what you already know, what you will come to know, and what that knowledge might cost you emotionally. I would say that four cards in, we have a satisfac satisfactory answer and a good place to stop or a good place to continue on with this game called tarot in new rounds of you against your world. With a pocket full of 78 cards, you carry with you an advisor, a confidant, a companion to turn to on any issue of question in the game of life. Is life a game? Maybe that's your next question. Thanks for joining me today at Toadstool Tarot for this little whatever it is. And I'll see you next time.